to Me Diaries. My name is Shandell, and I'm here to share a message of hope. I hope you're having a great week. I hope you're having a great day. I'm just happy that you're here with me. So, you know, this last like week or two, you know, God has really been bringing me back, right? And I've just been thinking about like where I was seven and a half years ago and where I'm at today. Uh, the other day I was driving past the old place that I used to live. And I just thought, you know, I thought about myself when I was fresh out of treatment trying to figure this all out and you know what i remember from that time in that apartment was um the encounters that i had with the lord i got baptized in the holy spirit in that room just me and jesus you know and it was so amazing and and i was as i was thinking about it it's like don't ever forget where you come from right because seeing that and all of that it just made me grateful for where I'm at today, you know, I think sometimes we could take for granted uh, where God has placed us, right? We can get used to our comfortableness life, right? Get used to the coming and going, going to work, all of these things. We can get used to it and, and not think about where I was and how much God has brought me out of, right? And today... So last week I emailed the church, the one that I walked into, the one that I had my first encounter with the Lord, and, and I shared my testimony, and God really put it on my heart to go there. And so I went there today, and you know, it was so amazing. I just was amazed and just so surreal, right, that the last time I was there it is when I was in my addiction, and I walked in there, and I felt welcomed, I felt loved, um, I got to share my testimony, you know, briefly, and the love that I received was amazing. And, and during the worship time, I was just weeping. And I was weeping and thinking about last time I was there, the day when I went up for that altar call, I was weeping too. But it was in such a different place. And today, I was weeping because of who God is and his goodness and that my life is not perfect, but it is not where I used to be every single year, every single day I'm progressing and I'm changing. And the God, this last whole 2024 has been a humbling year for me. God is taking me through this process and it doesn't feel good. Um, and, and some days I just feel like, what am I doing? You know, and overwhelmed and all of these things. And, but today was a reminder Today was a reminder that where God took me and where he's taking me and, and I'm not going to stop. I'm going to keep pushing forward. I'm going to keep moving um, and, and finding balance in my life. Uh, Matthew, I mean, Luke, sorry, Luke, um, Luke 19, 10 says, for the son of man has come to seek and to save that which was lost. When Jesus was here on earth, he came to seek the lost and save the lost. And, you know, I was thinking about all of that and how powerful our testimonies are. And that when we are doing Jesus business, right, when we're doing kingdom business, when we are walking as a reflection of Jesus, right, what was Jesus doing here? He was here to seek the lost, to seek the broken. And, and I just want to encourage you, you know, that lady who took me to church with her, had she not done that, I don't know where I'd be today. Um, you know, she took me there. She, she was like, you're coming with me. You know, she pushed me up to that altar call. And it's so important that when we have the opportunity to share our testimony, share what God has done for you, because there are so many people lost, so many people broken, so many people that need that message of hope, that need that um, encounter with the Lord. There's many people that know God, but they were hurt by the church or they backslid and all of these things. And we have to set, step outside of ourselves. We have to step outside of ourselves, step outside of fear of man, step outside of what people are going to think. And we really need to uh, bring in the lost, bring in the broken, share your testimony. This is why I get on YouTube. This is why I get on TikTok. This is why I get on Facebook and I share the gospel because um, my life was broken. My life was broken. My life was chaotic. My life was full of drugs and alcohol and violence and um, uh, all of these crazy things, right? Um, and somebody took me and took me to church and that changed my life. 
And, and today I share the gospel when I can. And when the Holy Spirit gives me the nudge or I get on the social media and I share and, and I share and I let people know God is real. Jesus is real. It's not about a religion. It's not about, um, all of the, it's about a relationship and the Holy Spirit is real and tangible. And if you are broken, if you are tired, if you have backslidden, if you are feel depressed, if you feel heaviness, Jesus is the way. And it's not going to be easy, right? It's not promised that when you give your life to the Lord or you recommit yourself to the Lord, that we're not going to go through stuff. We are going to go through stuff. Um, but what, what we have is special. When we have the Holy Spirit, we have something special. We have something tangible and special and that is transforming and that is powerful and that is protecting and that is teaching and guiding. Um, and I want to encourage you, if you're a believer, to step out and share your testimony. Go back to where God grabbed you from. Go back not to meditate on that or anything, but remember where you were when you met the Lord. And, and ask God to light a fire inside of you. Ask God to light a boldness inside of you. and to Because we're called to preach the gospel. It doesn't mean we have to be on a pulpit preaching. No, we can preach the gospel to the people in the market. We can preach the gospel to the people at school. We can preach the gospel to whoever wants to listen, you know? So I just encourage you, you know, um, to follow Jesus, right? Follow his example, be bold, step out of yourself. And, 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 and I encourage you to go and share your testimony and, and use these as opportunities to, um, uh, help other people because your healing testimony can bring healing to others. Your, uh, 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 coming out of addiction can bring, uh, for somebody to get them out of addiction, out of abuse, whatever it is, you know? So I just want you to pray with me. I want you to pray with me. I want you to pray for a, um, a uh, uh, spirit of boldness to rise inside of you. I want you to um, pray with me that um, uh, and, uh, motivation and strength and all of that. And if you're going through it, just believe that God can touch your life, even right now as we pray together. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God, I thank you for your goodness, Father. I pray, Lord God, that you would open up our hearts, that you would open up our, our ears to hear you, Father. I pray, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus, that you would give us more boldness, Father. I pray, Lord God, that you would uh, give us uh, uh, motivation and determination, Father. I pray, Lord God, that you would remove any hindrance, any fear of man out of, out of us, Lord God. Help us to walk in boldness, Father. Help us to not be ashamed, Lord God. Help us to not worry about what anybody is going to think, Lord God. Help us, Father. And I just pray, Lord God, anybody that is going through it, anybody that is dealing with anything right now, I just bind it and I break it now in the name of Jesus. And I ask, Lord God, that you just fill them with the comfort, fill them with the peace, fill them with strength of the Holy Spirit, Lord God. And I just pray, Father, if they're dealing with anything, a supernatural turnaround, Father, in Jesus' mighty name. And I thank you, Lord God, for your goodness. I thank you for your love. I thank you for your comfort. I thank you, Lord God, where you pulled us from, Lord God, and where we are planted right now, Lord God. And I just pray that you continue continue to grow us. You continue to mold us. You continue to prune us and, and break us, Lord God, to where we can produce fruit in our life, Father, where we can be examples of you, Jesus, where we can sh be the light in darkness, Father. And that our testimonies will encourage others, Father, that it's not about a religion, but it's about a relationship, a real, true, genuine relationship, Father. So I just thank you for all that you are, Lord God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and I'll talk to you next Sunday.